Alright guys, I'm starting this stream. <clears throat> I'm going to be changing some settings real quick on the YouTube so I can get some better views. So give me a second here before I start this video. Or the stream. <clears throat> Alright guys, let's get this started. So, they just uh, released information on Evolution Land about the test network. So anybody that's interested can play the game for free without having to invest any money. So you can kind of see how it works. And then you can actually in depth figure out what the best solution for you is when it comes to your investment. Instead of just aimlessly throwing your money at so we're going to go ahead and follow at evolution underscore land and I'll show you the post that was posted. Don't want to spend any money. Hashtag play to earn. Evolution land test net will bring you new functions and everything is free before you should get some test HT tokens. And here's the test world. So I'm going to show you guys how to start, how to get your test net tokens and um, how to log in and whatnot. So I'm going to be on the telegram. So here's my uh, NFT zoo. I'm actually going to be in the Evolution Land Telegram. So if anybody's asking any questions, be sure to ask me. I'm here to answer all your questions. So uh, feel free to say anything to me. Otherwise, I'm going to start this stream and I will upload this video on multiple uh, platforms right now. So bear with me as I post everything on multiple platforms. So, uh, I'm actually streaming live on Twitch and other various platforms. Twitch, DLive, Facebook, I'm on YouTube, and I'm on Twitter. So, be sure to follow me at Crypto Hustler. So, I'm Crypto Hustler. So definitely check me out. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and repost a couple of my posts. Uh, feel free to ask any questions in the Telegram. I'll be there answering anybody's questions. So I'm reposting this live stream in uh, different Facebook groups. So I'm going to copy this link. Let's see, I'm going to share this into the Evolution Land group. So I did create a Evolution Land group. Uh, a few years back um, wasn't as active um, so I will uh, definitely be posting more information on that so feel free to ask questions while I am busy doing this and I'll go ahead and answer those questions here in a second um, okay and then I'll say, okay, cool. So I'm going to be posting this on a, a couple of our groups here. So, it's like my stream is a little laggy. Maybe, maybe not as in, in the best condition here. Let's see. 
gotta check my internet. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm actually gonna have to cancel this stream because I'm actually on the wrong stream right now. I'm sorry guys. Uh give me give me a couple seconds here. Actually gonna this is my second stream. I was on the wrong internet connection. I do apologize everybody, I appreciate you. Um posting my videos everywhere. Um, I have to tell everyone that this is not the right video. Um, but yeah, feel free to ask any questions. Um, so, I'm going to be reposting this video here. And add some more tags. But yeah, I'm going to be in the Evolution Land uh, Telegram posting information. So... Oh man, I, I totally spaced uh, the internet connection I was on. I have uh, multiple internet connections at my home, and uh, I'm glad I didn't do tag everybody on uh, Twitter yet. So I just did that. So I'll let uh, Megan know that this is going to be the stream. So this is the stream. Uh, where is the telegram? So anyone that is the previous stream or isn't on this stream, do apologize. I appreciate you guys reconnecting. Um, I'm going to have to repost everything on YouTube again uh, just because I unfortunately wasn't on the right internet connection and I am now double back on that. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the live stream now. Okay, so here's the live stream. Uh, I said it was seven minutes ago. So it's the same one. Okay, so I guess is the same connection. Okay, uh, okay, so I think I'm good on that. So I'm gonna go double check. So yeah, just give me a few minutes here. Make sure everything is correct. And then go on the Facebook group and do it again. Uh, thank you. I appreciate you guys' patience. Um, I'm going to go ahead and repost all this information. Okay. And then I'm going to do is share this into the Evolution Land group. Um, let's see. Evolution Land group. And then I'm going to share this and share this and uh, I'm going to do a couple of groups and uh, I have multiple groups on Facebook myself and then I'll do uh, some like blockchain gaming or I'll do NFT, I'll do NFT uh, official market, okay, okay. Okay, I appreciate you guys' wait. So this is Crypto Hustler 101, your guide to cryptocurrency. And we're going to be talking about Evolution Land. So Evolution Land uh, released some information about the test net. The test net is uh, so you don't have to invest in the, in the game before. And then you can create a better strategy so you don't have to just aimlessly throw your money at the game itself. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to start and how to log in and whatnot. It's going to be requiring a few things. You're going to have a MetaMask wallet. Um, I do have previous videos about how to make MetaMask wallets. Um, so I will uh, show you how to, or just check my playlist on YouTube. So I'm going to give you guys uh, the link. Um, I'll show you guys where to go. So you go check out my videos on Crypto Hustler 101. And then when you go to my homepage, you go to uh, Evolution Land. So this is gonna show you how to do the walkthrough. This is gonna show you what is Evolution Land and you know every step possible for the game to get you started. Um, there's also videos on how to make a Hiko wallet. Um, I do have videos on how to make a MetaMask wallet, which 
apparently I didn't add into this playlist. Um, but I do have a video on how to make a MetaMask wallet. So how to make a MetaMask wallet. Um, there's other tutorials and people that are on uh, YouTube that make probably made better videos, but you can check mine out. This will show you uh, step by step how to create a, pri a private key and save it. Uh, make sure you back it up and whatnot, and then you can add the RPC information for the Hiko blockchain. Um, or that's manually, but also Evolution Land itself adds the information too. So that's uh, something we can look into. So I'm going to go ahead and so be sure to follow at Evolution Land. Uh, stay up to date on what's going on. Um, but anyways, we're going to go to the link. So this is the link that was given, which is evolution.land.l2me.com. This, this is the test. So if you go to just .com, it's actually going to take you to uh, the game. So there's actually uh, more information added to this as we go too. So you actually might be able to see new updates of the game before it's fully updated. So feel free to check it out at any time. There will be updates as we go. And being that we are also able to do the test net, I'll be able to show you guys more of the test net. Um, information as we uh, proceed so I can show you new features before it's put into the main game that way you can test it before anybody and be able to have a better strategy right so anyways you go to get started so on get started it's gonna be like the same screen except for this is not the main one this right here evolution.land is the main uh, page but this is not the main page so this is the test network so anything that's done in here is for test only and you will not lose any real world value. So this is good for any new user. So anyways, you go to sign in. So if it says switch network, if you click switch network, it's going to add the RPC information. So the HECO test net and it'll ask you and they switch the network. All right. So we want to double check this information here. So it says test net. Uh, you go to custom RPC, go back, and then it'll say Hiko testnet, right? So this is information that's provided for the Hiko testnet. You can actually do this manually too. So if you go down here and do the custom RPC, you can add the information here. And then you would go to uh, say specifically this is the auto farm network. There's other uh, various um, information that's released so you can get the RPC information. So you can go to settings and then click add network and then the Hiko mainnet or in this sense, this is the test net. So this information is provided on this page. Um, but yeah, it's usually added automatically with evolution land. So you probably don't have to mess with it. So, but anyone that's like, uh, interested in seeing what's going on behind the scenes, this is the RPC information. So anyways, here's evolution land, uh, and make sure that you're logged into the test net and then click MetaMask. And this will ask you for first time users to make a name. So I will do a name and then I'll ask you to sign in. It says nickname exists. Okay, so what I want to create a new name. New name. Okay, so that name was good. So once you log in for the first time, you'll be uh, given this screen, which is welcome to evolution land. I'm Eve, the mother of all adventurer. I will help you explore this planet. After you finish this guide, there'll be some rewards. Press start brief evolution land history. So just, you know, read this up. It'll tell you what to do and then you go to the next to the green gods. So also just to mention, uh, so if you go back, accidentally go back too far, press the question mark again to start all over, press start. Uh, this could be introduction and go to the next green gods. This will bring up a video within the screen. So uh, if you want to check the video out, you just go here, press next to land. And uh, same thing here, there's a video. And go to next apostle and then go to um, next drill, next claim and these, uh, the plus sign right here or the the you know youtube sign so the next claim to go claim this will require ht tokens i have in, insufficient balance right right now so this will require you to go to the test net so the information that was provided on the link on uh oh let's see actually let me 
One more thing I forgot to, uh... Post this video on here. So... That way you guys can watch me stream this. Okay. So I will, um... Okay, let's see. Just give me a, a second, guys. I want to share this video with some of our groups here. Oh. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. All right, so I, I sent the video, okay. Anyways, so to do this, you wanna do is, you know, copy your address like usual, if you're gonna send it somewhere, then paste it here. Here, you're gonna press submit. This will require you to log into a GitHub account. So be sure to have a GitHub account and then log in. Uh, it doesn't require too much, it requires email and information sent to you, and then you have to, um, Acknowledge that the email that your account is attached to the email agreed to upon everything uh, Pretty usual and then once you have that github account it will allow you to come back to the screen and Then you you know put your information here if it's not already provided uh, Your uh, wallet address and press submit this will do is it, It'll say the transaction has occurred And then you check here to see and you get your uh, HT token. So this testnet um, And then go back to evolution land and press claim now you'll be able to do the transaction press confirm and the transaction has occurred uh, it says end tutorial or restart so I can just skip and go okay so I want to take the second to answer some questions to people how can I sell them how can you buy the token in evolution? You can buy token evolution. Oh, how can I sell them? Um, same place on the green guts. So I got one of the questions here was uh, uh, one of the evolution land um, community members. They asked, how do you sell the ring token? Um, so in this case, we're going to go ahead and purchase the ring token. So if you're a first time player, you go into uh, Green Gots Bank. So that's located here on the top. This will allow you to purchase the ring token, which is the token used in Evolution Land to purchase pretty much everything. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and buy, let's say a thousand ring. Thousand ring. Um, in this case, I'll do 2000 ring. Okay. That gives me 0 0.05 transactions, so I'm going to go ahead and do 1500 because we will be doing uh, several transactions, which is including um, purchasing apostles, land, and whatnot. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so that is indicated that the transaction is completed. Okay, it'll reset. So right here, now it's official. I have 1500. Uh, ring and I have point one six 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 yeah I have that much uh, Hawabi token left so you can get more testnet tokens but you do have to wait 24 hours um, so uh, be patient but most of the transactions are very minimal so to start off we can do multiple things you could go ahead and purchase treasure but the treasure chests are quite high now. So um, for all intents and purposes, I can go ahead and go to my inventory, which is where the drills are located. Uh, this will be the free drill you got for the tutorial. Press manage, and I can put this to work. I wanna approve this transaction and confirm. So for first time of anything on the game will require a transaction in most cases to confirm that you're going to uh, allow this to be uh, put on different pieces of land and whatnot. And 
and uh, mine other resources. So uh, once you get past that smart contract, press work, and then you'll have other options to go on land and see what is best for my drill. So there is a kind of a, I would say a cheat on this. Uh, sometimes you can just randomly click land so you're like, hey, randomly click land, and then sometimes you can run into, you know, somebody, and be like, hey, that's a, you know, that's a nice piece of land. But to have your drill mine specific resources, there has to be apostles on the land mining that specific resource, which then will become more viable for your drill to gain more resources. So instead of putting this on a random land, I'm gonna go ahead and purchase some land real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and find the best piece of land and I will bid with ring, approve, and confirm. So once I approve this transaction, then I'm able to actually bid on it. So when it says approve on anything, uh, then it'll allow you to bid or uh, purchase and whatnot. So in this case, click bid and then press confirm. This will put the bid on the land, which brings it into a Dutch auction, which um, it, it goes based on lowering the clock. So um, I'll wait till bid shows up. Okay. And then also I want a, an apostle. So apostles are, um, you know, these are the workers of the game. So these are, you know, the bread and butter to getting most of... Uh, most of the land resources out faster so they mine better than most drills unless you upgrade your drill so in this case we're going to purchase you know the best option becomes apostles so my biggest factor here is that the strength and agility play the biggest part on having the best mining resource skills so your bet your talent the strength and agility is most important and then when you have uh, resource levels, those enhance those specific resources you're mining. So they could go up to level three using resources to attach to the next generation when you breed them. So it is a lot, but um, we'll start this slow. So we're gonna go ahead and just look for an apostle that's good. See her strength is very high and agility is pretty good too. So I would say this particular apostle is really good. So we're gonna go ahead and bid. First time bidding will require me to approve. Once you have approved on any of these transactions, it, you won't have to do it again. So now it says bid, I go ahead and bid. So this, I will require two apostles for every, um, you know, for breeding, of course, you know. And also uh, breeding uh, siblings and anybody in the same family tree directly won't allow you to breed. So be sure to have multiple generation zero apostles to kind of break away from the family tree of breeding. So that's kind of a, a, a gimmick, you know, that's, you know, based on reality. So we don't want to breed our siblings together. Um, but anyways, uh, so yeah, here's agility is really high, but his strength is not that good. So we're going to go ahead and bid for the best ones. Um, yeah, those aren't that good. Um, let's see. Trying to find the best options here. 3027. Let's bid on her as well. And then I'm going to be bidding on two other males. Uh, so that way we have a, a variation of difference breeding. So that's most important for me. You notice uh, on the screen that it said uh, lottery points. So I will show you guys what that means as well. Um, so I will go here. Uh, okay. This is, so and notice most of the females have pretty good talent. Um, so we will see on this on, trying to figure out a couple males. Okay, so I'm gonna bid on this male. 
and then I'm going to go and bid on. Uh, so this is actually the zero. This is the first one. So in most cases, this guy would be more expensive. In this case, he is, but uh, that doesn't necessarily mean um, it's viable. I mean, it is very viable because on uh, the main game, uh, all the stats are maxed out, including the uh, re resource levels. Uh, those are maxed out too, and the talents, but on this is not, so um, that's okay. So you can tell these guys are kind of different. Um, so I want to get another male. I'm going to go ahead and purchase that one with the high agility. I think that was good for me. Um, where did he go? Okay. Go ahead and bid on this one as well. Okay. So I know this is kind of mundane. And most people that are at the beginning of the stages want more advanced uh, options. Which are working on that as I progress. So I kind of want to just show everybody how to play the game uh, from scratch on the test net. And then you can just follow these same steps same steps when you start on the main net you can also just skip ahead and use the main net of course that's evolution.land and then go to the fourth land which is donnie uh then you can go ahead and do so you still have to get ht tokens but there'll be actual real world consequences to your actions so uh that's kind of where i'm showing everybody right now um, so where it says congratulations on getting point zero zero one points. So this is going towards the lottery uh, There's higher points for breeding in the main net, but this kind of gives you an idea of what you get from the lottery and Then once you get um, enough lottery points go here to the present Go to happy lottery and you'll have lottery points right here accumulating and when you're able to have 10 points you can go ahead and Click, click here and you'll be able to have a chance to win up to a hundred thousand ring so of course the jackpot here on the uh, test net is only eight thousand um, but that's just uh, there's only so much you can have on here because this is the test net so you see me clicking over here this is the green gods bank you can buy and sell a ring of course what I just showed you guys so you just insert how much ring you want to sell and then approve the transaction and then you go ahead and sell it. <coughs> and you can see here there's a liquidity pool. So this is a liquidity pool for all the resources in the game including HT tokens which you go ahead and insert into the farm which then you can also earn ring on top of your liquidity pool. So that's very interesting and this is uh, obviously the APRs are really high on this. On the main net, it's around three, four hundred. So it's about average of uh, anyone uh, farming anything early on. Uh, it did start out around fifteen hundred, thirteen hundred, and about a thousand APR. But it did go down as people started playing the game and, and started farming more token. So, anyways, so this is how you uh, buy, sell, and uh, stick your coins into a liquidity pool, and then you can farm the tokens ring. Uh, the main net from Darwinia and Evolution Land, the game itself, uh, to gain some more added value. So, anyways, um, we're gonna go check on stuff here. So, we're gonna the postals. I see unclaimed, so I can see where I got uh, these guys are on a Dutch auction, so it will go down in time. And I'll go ahead and check the land I purchased too. So, unclaimed land is right here. You claim the land and press confirm. And wait for the transaction to happen so as a uh, fast forward to everything I'm going to show you guys um, my actual account um, this is just a test account of course on a test network but uh, I'll show you guys what I've been doing on another account which then will kind of speed up everything uh, for us to get into uh, possibly other things as well <laughs> like you know farming and whatnot so I just want to show you guys the basics. Um, I'm going to show you guys, um, you know, kind of what's going on here. You know, these are your assets. So you're going to check out your assets um, and check out your land. Uh, you notice I went to the unclaimed portion of the land. That means after bidding. 
So once you're on bid, it's not in here anymore. It'll either tell you you've been outbidded or your bid is still active. And just like on the postals, it'll show how much time you have left until you win, which is a Dutch auction. Um, so you have a chance to bid and the price goes up higher. Um, and then on sale. So this is any land I put on sale. And this is unclaimed land that I have not claimed yet. And then here's mine. So we see where it says manage. I'm going to go over here and then I'm going to go back to my apostles and see which ones are unclaimed. I'm going to go ahead and claim these. So I'm going to go ahead and claim every single apostle. I will breed um, one set of apostles to show you guys how to breed. Um, and then I will go into answering some questions. If there's any questions on Evolution Land uh, Telegram and or other uh, sources. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my other account and show you more advanced ways to do things. And then I'll be showing you guys um, at some point, um, actually at 7 p.m. and 6 a.m. every day, I'm going to be live streaming the auctions. Um, I'll try to do it every day until the time is up, but I might not be able to do it every day. So, of course, I'll let you guys know in advance. Um which days I am or not but most likely I'll be doing this every day as much as possible so that way I can show you guys uh, the streaming of land sales um, and show you you know why would you buy specific ones if things are overpriced or if they're priced well um, you know what you can do with this said land and how you benefit the most in the game um, so kinda just like letting you guys know what's going on daily here on evolution land so we can uh you know get up to speed on on uh farming and whatnot so there's going to be a lot of implement uh implements into the game that are going to occur such as construction such as careers such as war uh such as uh cross chain trading so other continents trade so trade wars and uh yeah there's just a lot to the game that hasn't been fully developed yet so you just stay tuned as i present the game um, you know, with my live streams as well as making videos, I'll be uh, making a new farming video for Evolution Land at some point. So, uh, you know, definitely look out for that. So, I'll have that uh, released so you guys can have more of an in depth uh, farming and just kind of more features as it's being released. So, anyways, so we have and press OK. So, the game will transition back. Go to unclaimed, go to claim, do it again. So kind of a cheat code for me. I'm just going to say this for Huabi or HT. He go, I just press refresh. And then I go to claim. I do. I keep doing it a bunch of times. So it kind of speeds it up. Uh, you won't feel the congestion like you do in Ethereum. So, you know, that's kind of the, the gimmick here is that you don't have to wait as long. Uh, because it, the transactions are faster. Um, but you know at some point they might get clogged because of the Gwai requirements for gas fees So it might not be in the best interest in the future But sometimes you can get away with doing you know three or four transactions at once because it's more convenient just to reload the page This is not just for this game, but this game does have a transition Period for transactions that kind of is too slow for me. So it's kind of a little bit of a cheat code um, anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and breed. I'm gonna go ahead and breed um, 429. Yeah, I'm gonna breed this one with this one. So we're gonna go ahead and make a baby. You know, as I said, approve, and I pressed OK first time usage. So uh, just to kind of slow it down here. Um, so when you click an apostle for the first time. Anytime they are able to do anything, say work or breed, it will ask you for this harbinger tax mode. That means that you are your apostle has like kind of a defined lifespan, and in the beginning stages, it's you know very youthful and, and very strong, and then in the end, it starts depreciating and. You know, eventually the apostle fades away, and then you'll be able to get a chance to uh, revitalize it by using a spe uh, specific uh, 
options. Um, it could be a potion or whatnot uh, in the future. And it's based upon your apostle. So it's not based on other people's apostles. It's your specific. So the price can be higher or lower depending. Um, but Or you can just allow your apostle to fade off. Which then will become a medallion. Kind of like a trophy. That's pre-existence. That you get some type of plaque for it. Uh, NFT. So that's all to be, to, to be announced. Uh, this is in the white paper it mentions how apostles do have a uh, you know afterlife kind of aspect and or can be revitalized through it after its youthfulness um, in use case so we'll see on that but this is a harbinger tax mode so you kind of have to do that unless you don't want to use it so if you were to preserve your set apostles generation zero this is a um, this is a strategy I have done is that I keep a set of apostles for the next time around so I would say at least have four generation zero apostles and if you don't at least keep generation one or two somewhere in the low generations and never do anything with them and just let them sit because those will be useful when your apostles fade off so you don't have to go and buy someone else's or look on the marketplace for new generation zero uh, which at some point it won't be created or it'll be a lot more expensive so these things do kind of carry some value if you have apostles that are not used so just a FYI for uh, strategy I personally do this in um, the Tron sign Byzantine. I am going to use the same strategy in Hiko. So I definitely on Dawning. So it's definitely something to look into. So anyways, we're going to go back and then we're going to go check to see if they have a baby making or they don't. I don't know. Did they produce a baby or was it the first time? I'm not sure. Okay, let's go back. Um, maybe I think I did the approval and not the transaction. So, anyways, so we'll go back here. I'll have them breed, and then I'm going to go and breed this guy and this gal. So, I'll breed this two right here. Okay, okay. And then press confirm. So, I'll be having two. So, it does require 50 ring to uh breed so be sure to have enough uh you know for for breeding um you know and then there's an open market too you can sell the apostles you know if they have special talents sometimes they have special um backgrounds and, and different features so that's another thing too so you can see here uh, as you hover you can see the number their name generation their fertility speed uh fast is you know the beginning and then it starts going down if they're swift and become brisk and you know just like really hard and fast it, it takes longer to breed sometimes you get the best talent out of that so that's kind of another strategy sometimes you see better talents um as you uh breed into the uh genome of that specific apostle so it kind of is a strategy of you that's own to you know maybe produce several of the same offspring uh, from the same parents and then those specific offspring kind of you know bring the genetics better you know so breeding the better genetics into that apostle breed it again and again and again sometimes they'll bring out different genetics so um, that's also another strategy too and this is a collectible option so in the future there'll be more option or there more more information about specific talents and and, and different backgrounds and whatnot and, and uh, how collectible those are so that's that's another aspect um you know strategy if you're going for the collectability as an nft because there is a collectible aspect to this there is special um uh, apostles that have been released that are not um not available anymore so um anyway so we click here and claim actually we're going to show you guys before anything so that's the talent this is the resource and then there's attributes so these attributes are specific to their hair their face their eyes and, and when you kind of think about it it's like 
this is similar to CryptoPunks. This is similar to, you know, because it has all the features. But else has use case. So you're sticking an NFT into an NFT, a socketed NFT like RMRK. So it kind of has more and more layers to the NFT platform. Uh, and, and the thing is, is that this is a very early on project. Uh, they've been working on it for years and years and years. And it's, it has a lot of the elements that everybody else has done. Except for the only 10,000 apostles kind of thing. So there's not only 10,000 of them. You can breed them into infinity. But that other aspects is the attributes and everything. Those can be, those can be special. Those can be rare talents. There can be rare attributes. So definitely on the lookout. It's definitely not everyone's strategy, you know, um, especially at the early on uh, a time that we don't have all this information. But you could stumble upon a postal that has value that we don't know, you know, that's not realized yet. So, you know, just uh, just a little bit of information. So anyways, when you're ready to claim your baby, <laughs> in this case, an apostol, you press claim. And then you can see here, you can add different resources. So say if you wanted the generation to be, you know, more uh, better at mining gold or, you know, so gold and you go level three. Level three requires 15 gold. So that's kind of like, well, you know, that might not be something you have. So you can go down to level one. And of course, you just don't have to do it at all. Um so you don't have to add a resource you can just press skip right so I'm gonna go back and show you guys here so um, so also if um, so if this is the so the first one is the sire right and the other one is is the the one that makes the baby so for the second one you can just go to their the apostle and press claim and then you can claim the uh, the baby there also another thing is when you're breeding the two you want to see which resource levels they have because that will affect the breeding so if you say hey if these two have water um it might carry the level one water over without adding any and if you could do a level three water uh you know uh, level three resource uh, it might carry it over as a level three but if you're going to do and actually in most cases this will null and void it so pretty much you're gonna most likely null and void uh the first set of i mean it will carry over depending on how you do it but null and void as in it will pretty much take away the level resource uh for the next generation so i'm just gonna go ahead and just claim and just skip and go ahead and do this and show you guys and then we'll see the parents and see okay did it carry over the level resource or didn't because sometimes so th it's not always guaranteed that this certain thing traits gonna come over but it depends on how you breed and and the way you do it like with the resources and a resource level and as well as the apostles themselves and they're specific to their talents so that these are just like many many strategies on building the best apostles okay so after you, you see the notice it says swift after you breed the first time it starts to deteriorate the breeding process which does take longer uh, so here is my baby has pretty decent strength the agility is kind of low so it's not the best and you can see the background which is snow did carry over or did create so snow the surroundings you know was something that was created from the com combination of them so uh this one had wood and she had water so the combination of both took away the resource level but that's okay because when you breed into other ones and add resource levels to it then it will carry it over so in this case, when they have no no resource level, and then here I'll go over here, um, and then they have one here, you can breed. 
So let's not do that. Let's go. Um, so I'm going to claim this one. So I'm going to do is I'm going to breed the two level ones together. See what happens. And then I'm going to breed a level one with a, or a generation one with a generation zero. So I'll do two generation ones and then a generation zero one and show you guys like if it carries over the resource levels or not. Because this is very important. Anyone that's trying to mine, you want the best apostles, right? You want to be able to have the best, um, you know, leverage of, of being able to mine better than others to get better, res you know, results on the resources mining. So, uh, this is all just, you know, information I've uh, accumulated over the years. <laughs> so, uh, but I wanted to make this kind of short, so I'm gonna do is just kind of show you guys this, and then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna make another video, uh, most likely tomorrow, next day on um, the farming and everything and all that. So, and uh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and do that as a main video uh, for main net. So it's not gonna be test net. So okay, so her okay. We're gonna go ahead and breed. Uh, the one and one, so one and one with the snow baby, <laughs> my snow baby. Okay, and then once that's great, once the baby's been born, I'm gonna breed uh, one of the generation zero gals with uh, a generation one. So the, technically they're not related because it was two sets of people. So that's kind of good is that when you have two sets of people making children you can kind of you know make new sets of generations and then you probably once you get to maybe two or three sets of those children it might be good to introduce another apostle from somewhere else so um just to kind of you know you know change it up because if you don't change it up then they won't breed well you know or they won't breed at all because you can't all right so we'll wait for this and then I'm going to put these apostles on the land and then I will answer any questions. And then after that, I'm gone. What kind of drills did you pick up? Oh, it looks like people are talking. Yeah, I do want to cut this kind of short just because I did have a long travel and uh, I'm realizing that I'm kind of tired. So I might, um, you know, doze off possibly. Anyways, press claim and skip. And then I'll put all these apostles on the land after I breed a zero and one. So being that you're being that you're uh, breeding from a zero and one generation, that means the oldest or the the latest generation, say one, will have a next generation. So how both zero generations produced a generation one apostle. If you breed a zero and a one, it will make a generation two apostle. So it takes it takes the um, generation of the the newest and produces the one after that. So zeros will make a one, ones make a two, a zero and a one make a two. And if you did a one and a two, it'd make a generation three. So you can see how that works. Anyways, so this is a generation two. And her strength is bad and didn't carry over any of the resource. So that's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and breed, um, let's say, a zero with a one. Breed with his one. So one, no. I'm going to breed with a two. So let's see what happens. You notice I picked this one and then that one right there. So when when you have the the sire, um, I believe that's yeah, that's the one that's is the the man or whatever you know, like the one that's not holding the baby that's giving fertilizing the the baby or whatever in that case, um, will uh will be if that one's a slower one as long as the second one is faster the one that's holding the baby th then it'll produce faster so uh in the best interest i tend to have the faster one produce the baby 
it depends on what you're trying to do. Sometimes it's better to have the slower one, I guess. Only if it's like some type of strategy to get certain talents. Because it depends on who's the one that's pregnant. May carry certain talents or may create certain resource levels and or attributes. So there's many, 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 many strategies in this game. So yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the last last little part, last little part I want to show you guys is just like the tabs on the side before anything because there is important things here that um, some of the users and uh, even community members and some ambassadors may not know, uh, being that uh, these features are pretty useful on determining uh, the price of land sales. Uh, where lands include, you know, where is it located? The resources on those lands, um, you know, our partners and stuff like that. So, uh, but I'll show you guys through all that before I'm done here. So, but yeah, I did want to wrap it up at some point. I know there's not a lot of people watching this video. That's okay. You guys can watch it again. Um, that's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to wait till this is done. And okay, and claim. So hopefully, hopefully, uh, it will carry over resource level. Most likely not. The best way to carry any resource level is add a resource uh, level attribute. You know, between five and fifteen to the next generation. So, so it should be a generation three. Okay, so forty-two ten. Okay, so. So I'm gonna have her work. So I'm gonna go put her on the land. So you see that soil is the best one. So I'll just go okay, and then press confirm. So she will go ahead and start um, mining soil. And then once it shows, it'll say that she's working. So you see how much soil I get a day, 1.14. You can press stop working at any moment. Um, and it'll say working when she's busy, so she cannot breed when she's working. Anyways, uh, so I'm going to show you guys all the menus. I'll show you my assets, my land, my apostle, history. So it'll show you uh, what's been done, you know, claiming apostles and paying for everything. Uh, channel records are um, based on records between uh, evolution land itself so um, you probably will not ever see too much on here um, here's the inventory so this is your drills so I'm going to go ahead and manage press work and then put the drill on my land as soil and I can go ahead and start mining I'm going to fast forward here and then uh, do my chest so this is a chest that you purchase you can open them uh, gold and silver chest uh, to get uh, drills and sometimes on the gold chest you'll be able to get half your ring back so as a bonus um, and then my chest invites so you can invite friends to here to sign up you get a sign up bonus um, and then you can log out so if you go over here and click this is the chest you can purchase directly right here we'll show you the communities so this is everyone that's our partners so Darwinia is the creator of Evolution Lands. So you can go ahead and click the lands that they own. You can see that lands own there and lands own there and lands own there. You can go to Evolution Land. Uh, Gravinity is the uh, developer or one of the uh, um, project managers, I would say. Um, he helps. Uh, he's in the in the Telegram groups and uh, he's very very helpful. Um, Subscan, which is a uh, derivative uh, or a you know, satellite of uh, Darwinian Network, same as Evolution Land. They uh, get, provide information for all substrate on the Polkadot and Kusama. So they have land here too. Channels, which is um, this is a uh, lending platform on uh, Hiko blockchain. So definitely check them out. Mao Dao, uh, this is a uh, NFT project. Lending Hub is a lending platform on Hiko. Crust Network uh, is a uh, substrate platform that is for uh, cloud um, cloud information, so data. So they hold a lot of data. B 
BML. Um, I don't really know a lot about BML, to be honest. Um, but I do have them as one of my uh, followers, or uh, following them. Follow uh, follow is privacy on uh, Polkadot and Substrate. Uh, so they have Kahala, which is uh, going to be a parachain. So that's uh, they're pretty useful for having privacy. Uh, Metaverse, NFT, I don't know much about them, but I'm assuming they're Metaverse. INFT is a... Uh, I don't know a lot about them either, but they are one of our partners. A star, a star network was originally Plasm. Uh, they're going to be uh, more than just a uh, higher throughput uh, transaction. They're also EVM compatible. They're also um, they're introducing yeah, WebAssembly. And um, uh, they have various use cases. They have uh, some roll ups they're going to be adding. Um, so, yeah, they're great. YGG is a gaming guild for multiple platforms but also on evolution land so uh top dow and of course darwinia and then polygon which is also going to be an option for us to create new land on the polygon blockchain so there'll be a lot more uh, cross-chain interactions so stay tuned on that okay and i'll show you guys right here this is the furnace so right here if you say inventory this is going to show your drills you click map and this will show you all the other set of drills that are available. You can see that uh, there's 29 of these available. And then there's uh, class 1 and class 2. So you can see different versions of all these available. And um, as you synthesize them, you can upgrade your drills. Um, we'll talk more about that on the mainnet video that I'll be having most likely tomorrow. Um, and then, let's see, go back. Um, so you see in the apostles, you can... Yeah, you know, look for all of them on sale for breed and recruit. So you can pick recruiting to work on your land. You can do for breeding, for breeding directly. So that's interesting. And then first sale. First sale means these are the lands that are being sold directly from the contract. And then if you go resell, you can purchase land from other users and players. Um, and then, like I was saying, on Green Gods, you can buy, sell, liquidity, and farm. We're going to talk more about that on the main net video I'll be uh, having tomorrow, actually. So I'm going to do a main net video on how to play the game. Um, I'd say same time tomorrow. So uh, 11 a.m. Pacific time standard. I will be making another video. So anyways, and then uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, the treasure chest. Um, those you can buy the chest. On the main net, you can buy the chest for a hundred ring and a thousand ring. The prices do go up ten times value, but you still have some time. So that's pretty much it. If that's the happy lottery in here, you could switch different lands. So you can go ahead and switch different continents. In this case, we're on Donning. So, anyways, uh, be sure to like and subscribe my videos on Twitter and well, on YouTube. <laughs> I keep on saying like and subscribe. But yeah, follow Evolution Land at Evolution underscore Land on Twitter. You can follow me. I'm Crypto Hustler on Twitter. And uh, check out my videos and check out the YouTube playlist with all and, all and everything Evolution Land. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Peace.